Good morning, children. In today's class of our EVS, we are going to learn Block Thirteen, Keeping Surroundings Clean, and the strand is Family and Neighborhood. Keeping surroundings clean. Before that, we'll see a small story. Okay. This story is about a city in our country, India. Some years back, people used to throw waste here and there on roads, in open grounds, and even in water bodies in the city. The waste kept lying at places for many days. There were puddles of dirty water all over. This is puddles, children. The water collected on the ground. No one picked up the waste or cleared the puddles. Soon, the city was attacked by a disease called plague, which is caused by rats. It killed almost two hundred people. The people and the government were forced to take steps to clean the city. So, if you throw waste here and there on the roads or in the open grounds and in the water, they were making the place dirty, and soon the city was attacked by a disease called plague, which is caused by rats. Why the rats have come? Because they were waste everywhere on the roads, open grounds, and in the water bodies. So the rats were coming to eat the waste, and it attacked with a disease called plague, and it killed two hundred people. So then the government and the people realized, and they took the steps to clean the city. Today it is a beautiful and clean city. It is Surat. It is in Gujarat, and in the same way, Bangalore and Chandigarh are the cleanest cities of. india so you at least pledge to keep your house clean and your surroundings that is your neighborhood clean so that is what we are going to learn today keeping surroundings clean so we are going to understand need to keep the surroundings clean waste to keep the surroundings clean types of waste and waste to remove them waste to keep the toilet clean okay children you all open your content book page number 82 keeping surroundings clean you keep you keep yourself clean your house clean in that your room clean right in the same way you have to keep your surroundings clean this is a clean surrounding picture and this is a dirty surrounding picture if you see we should keep ourselves clean to stay healthy so if we are healthy that means we are clean so we should keep ourselves clean to stay healthy in the same way we should also keep our surroundings clean to stay healthy so if your house is clean and your surroundings is clean you will be automatically healthy we can fall sick if places around us are dirty so if it is like this we will fall sick underline the word puddles children in the first page this is and now surrounding we will see the meaning of it when water gets collected here and there mosquitoes grow in it we can fall sick if mosquitoes bites us so if the place is dirty the mosquitoes grow and if they bite us we fall sick so we need to keep our surroundings clean so we have seen need to keep the surroundings clean why it should be clean because if they are clean we will be healthy now we will see 
what are the ways to keep the surrounding clean how can we keep the surroundings clean children we can keep our surroundings clean how we should throw waste only in the dustbins now here if you see you have to throw the waste only in the dustbins we should not spit on roads and walls we should not spit on roads and walls do not throw waste on roads we should not allow water to get collected in drains then the next one is the government or municipality keeps the city and towns clean they are the municipality workers so the government or the municipality workers keep the cities and towns clean so we should respect them it collects waste from dustbins and throws them far away from the town at a certain place so they collect the waste or the garbage from the dustbin and throw them far away from the town at a certain place it sweeps the road and keeps the park clean if you see early in the morning if you see early in the morning they sweep the roads and they also clean the parks government and people can work together for clean surroundings it is not only the government it is our responsibility to keep our surroundings clean so you should follow these given ways to keep the surroundings clean okay children turn to the next page now types of waste and ways to remove them so there are different types of waste this is a green bin and this is a red bin waste are things that we do not need so these are the different types of waste which we don't need some waste rot easily rot is what underline the word rot children rot is get spoiled okay examples are vegetable peels spoiled food dry leaves and dead plants so when mama starts cooking she will peel the vegetables like potato carrot yes so the vegetable peels spoiled food there is a expiry date for all the foods okay that is spoiled food dry leaves the leaves which fall from the tree and dead plants they rot easily so we have to throw them into the green bin and we have to see what we have to put in the red bin some waste do not rot and stay as it is for a long time examples include plastic packets or wrappers and tin cans so there are separate bins kept for the different types of waste separate bins can be used to throw different types of waste we should try to reduce the waste that takes time to rot that is the things which get, takes time to get spoiled so we should stop using the plastic or the things that takes time to rot if we buy 
कोक और थम्स अप बॉटल्स फॉर ए पार्टी और ए गेट टुगेदर वी नीड टू री यूज दम इन दिस वे ट्राई टू री यूज दम इन दिस वे इन स्ट ऑफ थ्रोइंग दम इन टू द डस्टबिन एंड ऑल्सो द मिल्क पैकेट्स विच वी गेट इन द मॉर्निंग डू नॉट कट द एज ऑफ इट लेट द कट पीस बी इन द पैकेट इट सेल्फ एंड पुट दम इन टू द वेजल that small piece also takes years to get dissolved or get rot so these are the simple things where we can use in our daily life to keep our surroundings clean the next one is ways to keep the toilet clean early morning when we get up we go to our washroom so we need to keep our toilet clean it is a good habit to use the toilet early in the morning we should keep the toilet clean we should flush the toilet after using it we should not leave the toilet seat or the area around the seat dirty if it is dirty we fall sick so we need to keep the toilet clean and also flush after every use and we should wash our hands after using the toilet when we are outside we should use public toilets and not in the open space okay now we just we can use the mall also if it is urgent for us to go to the washroom but do not do it in the open space keep toilets clean and wash your hands so this is our block keeping surroundings clean okay you at least follow the simple things which you can do it to keep your surroundings clean okay children as we have finished the block we are going to do the glossary you have underlined the word this is puddle rot and surroundings also underline the word public toilet and we are going to write the glossary of it and the last one is keep your environment clean safe and healthy okay this is a block keeping surroundings clean follow the ways children and keep your surroundings clean i will see you in the next class bye bye children